Date and ginger slice. I'm gonna try and make this, a, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna call it a healthy slice, peeps. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna try and put less sugar in and stuff than I normally would. So trying to find something I can eat in lockdown. It's a little bit sweet, makes me feel a little bit special, but not gonna make me a fat bastard, all right? So it's a hard balance. And in fact, I told Lauren I was making this today and she's like, why are you making more sweet stuff, all right? So, one, I'm a bit bored. And two, I am trying to find something that's um, sweet, but not ungodly sweet, like the cake I made. Cake I made was ungodly sweet. It was delicious, but ungodly sweet. So, really quickly, I'm gonna try and do this really quickly because it's a real melty job. So, I've been starting to do the slice. Um, never made it before. I've just been researching slices and thought I'll, I'll bastardize this one into a thing. So it's a non-bake one, really. I'm just gonna heat up some butter. So we're talking, all I got for this one is, I've got some butter, let's have a bit of a look-see at the bench. Get a look at the bench, what's going on here. So, got some butter in a pan. 125 grams of butter. I'm doing it times three because I'll do it for other people as well. So, uh, anyway, so 125 grams of butter in a pot. Uh, I'm gonna use date syrup to go in with it instead of sugar. So I've got this date syrup, which isn't the cheapest stuff in the world, but it's really nice to get in health food shops and stuff. Uh, so if you were, if you're using sugar, it's gonna be half a cup of sugar. So it's basically half a cup of butter, half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use half a cup of syrup. So I'll go in there, that heats up. In that, you add up some chopped dates. So I've got some pitted dates here, they're a bit hard. So I'm gonna give them a bit of a chop, so they're a little bit mushier. And then they're gonna go into my hot butter and date syrup, and that's gonna soften all that. And as simple as that, we're then gonna lob it in to here, which is cornflakes and oats. So, how many you say? Three cups? So three cups is the recipe. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use some oats, I'm gonna use some cornflakes, because I want a bit of mixture. I'll probably put some coconut in there too. In fact, I will put coconut in there, because I bloody love coconut. Anyway, so I'm gonna melt this stuff, and I get stuff, so I'm gonna get the butter on the stove, I'm gonna start melting out some date syrup in, and I'm gonna come back to you. I don't know what's happened there, but I seem to have forgot about the Gimba Mnuchins. Crystallized ginger. I believe it's called Gimba Mnuchins in, in Holland, so I like that name. Um, so we've got to add that. So in this step here, you're meant to get a quarter of a cup of uh, crystallized ginger, stem ginger, chop it up, whack it in with the dates. And you'll see, I'm just about to put the syrup in with the other thing. But anyway, stem ginger is the hero of this. It is the ginger in the date and ginger slice. Anyway, love you. Cool. So, melted my ginger syrup, my ginger syrup, ginger syrup my ass, date syrup, uh, and butter over there. And whatever syrup you got left from your Yimba Mnuchins or your, your thing, it's going on over here. Yeah, there we are. So I'm just going to get the rest of the syrup in there. I will chop up the rest of these bits of ginger too. Get that all through there. And that goes in, bit of heat on that. Um, and the only other things you've really got to sort of, this is a messy sort of job, make sure you've got, as always, a tray line. So I've got my tray line. So all I'm going to be doing once I've melted all that, is whacking all that together, packing it down, and I might even put a little bit of dark chocolate across the top. Once again, I'm saying it's healthy. I lie. I lie to myself. I lie to everyone. Anyway, come back here. Here we go. So here we go. In here we've got date syrup, butter, uh, and dates, plus the crystallised uh, ginger. Um, what happened was, as soon as I did that, I realised that the dates weren't softening enough. So I had a little bit more water and I'm just simmering it now. Not for long, just until the dates are soft, because this all wants to be soft. So I ended up putting about a quarter of a cup of water in there. You're going to simmer that off, but be careful because it's butter. Anyway, and once that's done, we'll be going whoop into here, a mixy mixy tray tray. Right, cool. so there we go, there's the, the date mixture, nice and softened a little bit. Here's my um, big pot of love. Get that in there, yeah, cool. Gonna pour that over the top, I'm gonna get this all mixed up together. I've left my bag of cornflakes out because uh, as I said, I've never made this before, so I wanna make sure there's enough crunch to uh, moisture, so. Once I've got rid of my spoon, because that is still a bit warm, and get my hands in there. Yeah, no. Still burning my hands, just move around. Where's my spoon? Can't even do that. Alright, so. There we go, so it's just butter, date syrup, 
crystallized ginger, oats. I didn't have any coconut, by the way, so I haven't put coconut in there. I don't know where my coconut's gone. Must have used some coconut. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right, a bit of a taste. Nice, very nice. Let's set that up in a tray. Hopefully that sets up. So what we'll do is now is tray lay. Get that in the tray. It's quite thin, not too thick, because you just want it to sort of set up and you crisp up a bit. Am I going to get that all in there? Yeah, I'm going to get that all in there. Oh, yeah. There you go, squash it down. Anyway, squash this really flat, and completely flat. Set it in the fridge and we're gonna pour some okay, chocolate. so let that set up in the tray a little bit. And I've just poured some, uh, this is dark chocolate. Just on top, it's very thin layer, as you can see. It's melted in a bain marie. And then just a very thin layer. So we're just gonna hold it together a little bit for, in my mind, and give me that little extra, not a lot of sweetness, because it's, it's dark chocolate, but there you go. So just, I'm not gonna do any feathering or anything fancy. I'll flatten it out. Wait that back in the fridge and we'll cut that up into squares. Pew pew! Okay. All right, excuse the tank top. Just come finish run, so we're gonna have a quick uh, cut up of the old slice of Rooney. Here we are, where's the slice of Rooney? Um, where is the slice? Oh, there she is, looking good. So we're gonna flip that up onto the board. There she goes. Nice in hot water. Bit of a towel for wiping. To be as a, a simple process as I said. I've never actually made this before, so this is going to be. Um, let's cut this end bit off just so I'm just going to see what we're chatting, really. A couple of things I want to know. I want to see if it's set up nicely enough as a slice, if it's not too crumbly underneath. It will get more set overnight. Obviously, these are the edge pieces. Alright, delicious. Perfect. Right, so all we'll do is, I won't want much of this, so I'll cut all these end bits obviously, they will go in a tub, I eat them and then I pretend they're not even food, they're just like leftovers, so here we go, smash them through, and we'll set up more overnight, this is the first day, I'm just, it's just nice to get, I reckon it's easier to cut on the first day, because they'll set up really good. We're talking a little bit of date and ginger slice. But they are. Delectable. Right, I'll show you the tub up version.